Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see the awesome different kind of videos which I make. So today's video is all about the break and continuous statement in Python and Julia both. So in this video, what you'll learn is that you'll able to learn. I'm writing it. So one, what is break and continuous statement okay what is break and continuous statement how to apply apply in python and julia so these two things you will able to understand today in this video. So if you haven't checked out the, our Python and Julia for loop and while loop videos, you can check in the description. I have given it in the at the top in the card. So let's further do. Let's get started for today's video. So first of all, what is the question is what is the break statement and what is the continuous statement? So if I write break. Break is something which you use when you break one to break a loop using some condition. Okay. So this is the break statement. So break you will use when you want to break a loop using some condition. So <clears throat> over here you can see I have uh, written it over there. So I've given a name statement. So it's a data driven decision I've given. So the objective of this loop is to iterate through every character like a T A T A and print every character one by one. Okay. So for that I am writing this loop. So what it does is that it is going to print those every character. Okay, so first it will print D. Okay, then it will print A. Okay, then T, then A. So in this way it is going to print it. So there I have given a break condition. So basically that means if name I, name I means the character equals to, equals to V. If it is become V, then it is stop that particular loop it is not going to print anything so that, that is what is happening over here so if i run this cell i'm showing you if i just run this cell here how it is coming so you can see that so you can see uh, so data dri data dri there is a v so whenever it reaches v it stops that loop so it is not going to print anything so so that means we if you use break if you want something which is you want to just break that loop then you are using that statement so this is the one part and another part is the continue so if i just remove everything so when you use the continue okay continue use a continue when you want to skip based on conditions in a loop so using the similar way like I have used the break so whenever it reaches V it is going to break the whole loop so the similar sort of thing we can also do using the continue statement so if I go over here at the below, so you can see that if I go over here, yeah, over here, so you can see that I have written the similar statement, similar loop. So it is going to print the same thing, data driven decision. But over here, instead of break, what I have done here, instead of break, I have using the continuous statement. Okay, so earlier there was a break, now continue. So if I just run this cell, it is going to skip the v like it is going to print d a d a d r i so there is a v then it is going to not print that 
it is go straight to E pen. Okay, so basically what happened is that it is whenever it reaches V, it is not going to print if it, it is not going to go in this area basically in this particular area it is not going to go it is go straight to the loop again and print from there so it is basically skip that particular condition so whenever it is this then lower part is not going to carry forward so it is go the at the beginning of it so in the loop what happened is that it start from here go from here go from here go from here go from here and again it go to this okay so whenever there is a continuous loop it is not going to using this full part it is going to use the half part so it is go start from here it is go from here this and go straight to this okay then again there is no any condition there then it is again follow this part so using that way it is it is working basically okay so if I just run this cell now, okay. So if I just run this cell, you can see that okay. data driven decision data data DRI V is not there. So because of the continuity, it is not printing anything for V E and it is directly printing the EN and decision. So in this way, it is happening. Okay. So similar sort of thing. You can also do the Julia programming language. I have already written Julia here, but you should buy them. So if I go to the Julia notebook, so this is the Julia notebook. It is loaded with Julia. So if I run this cell, just see the break statement, the similar sort of thing in break. But in Python, what we do is that in Python, it was the alien length of name in the range, uh, in using the range where I did it through the loop. So over here, it's a little different in Julia. So for i in one to this length of name. So in Julia, index start at one. So one till length of n. So one, two, three, four, five, six. In this way, it is going to do. And if this is b, then break else this is going to print line this name. But in Julia, every time you have to use the n statement over here. So you can see that. You have to use the in statement in in statement okay the for 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 if statement it is start till this for for statement it is start till this so the end this end is basically for the if else statement and this end is basically for the for loop so in this way it is happening in julia so that's the only difference and everything is pretty similar okay so if i just run this cell now okay first i clear this if I just run this cell, okay, and just see data DRI V. Whenever it is V, it just stop the whole loop, and the same thing is going to happen in the next. I think similar. Just see that we just use the continue over here. Okay, so just try this. Uh, yeah. Okay, data DRI V is not there, so it's not going to print that in this issue. So in this way, we are going to just use the break and continuous statement for any kind of foundation we are using in our loops. So it will help us in our day-to-day -day journeys and it will help you in your data science career also. Whenever you are implementing some logic, if you want to do something else with this, you can just do that. Like you can also you can you iterate it in a various way you have to just just think of that and you can just do it i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and check out those videos the other videos which i make uh i'll see you soon thank you for watching my video thanks